Hello, Amy Abbott's here in House of Tarot here. This is going to be a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs or any other placements in the charts. Cross watchers are welcome. You all know that I'm going to be reading for Leo, but if the roles are reversed, feel free to switch them up as needed. Okay, so Leo. First of all, I want to say thank you for all those who have recently subscribed. Those who have reached out for private readings and or donations, whether big or small, I appreciate the blessings. It helps me to grow the channel and bring messages to you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, that being stated, first I want to also kind of get this out here. They're doing some construction work outside, so if you hear anything, I do apologize. I can't help that, especially if I want to get these messages out on time. So bear with it, please. Okay. So, guys, <laughs> this is still going to be a general reading here. You know the drill. Don't force anything that doesn't fit. Understand it may not resonate. Check your moon, your rising Venus signs for additional messages or to get a comprehensive overview of all messages coming through. If you don't know what your other signs are, you can go to Google and Google search out natal chart calculator. You just need your birth date and time of birth, and it will figure that out for you. Okay, last but not least, don't make any life-altering decisions or decisions of any kind based off of a general reading because not all the information or energies would be there. And so if you're looking for something that is tailored to your specific situation, please to get a private reading and the information for me for that is in the detail box down below. Or you can choose from one of the many gifted and talented readers available here on YouTube. All right, so we're going to take a look today at a, the you know, classic Celtic cross. We're going to start with some oracles of the fairies. We're going to take a look at what's going on, and then we're going to end with a goddess guidance card for you for advice for ending this reading. All right, so I am going to go ahead and do this to get these out of the way. And we'll get started. All right, so first we're coming through, we're at ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone, and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. So if there's something that you're struggling with, reach out spiritually to the angels for guidance and protection. The fairies of protections are shielding you with a fairy, magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking on any spiritual work okay so right now you are being protected by the fairies and the angels and it's you know if you're feeling any type of those of you that are you know do spiritual work if you're feeling any type of i'm getting the sense of embargment ask for help from the angels to further protect you to further guide you in your journey here very interesting message i've never seen that come through before all right, so at the heart of the matter, Leo, we have the Queen of Wands. This can definitely be you. And guys, please don't automatically assume gender here. When I say she, it could be he, he could be she. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us, so take it as it resonates, please. It's about the traits and the energies. So the Queen of Wands. This is somebody who is very attractive, well-protected, a very transformative energy in everyone's lives that knows the Queen of Wands. This energy is somebody who is very larger than life is what I'm gathering. Very much, people are drawn to the Queen of Wands. They're interested in her. There's, there's a charisma and, and a magnetism to this energy. This is somebody who can be interested in things like spirituality, uh, tarot, magic, things that make other people go, wow, or whoa. I'm getting the sense of whoa. Um, very fiery energy could be, again, this could be you, Leo, this could be another Sagittarius and Aries, doesn't have to be, it can be anybody that you find these traits in, or this again could be you, what is crossing this is the King of Swords, so this is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but this is, you know, using that head over the heart, being in a place of more of analytical or logical thinking, Speaking truth, seeking truth. The King of Swords is an energy that's somebody who does not care about making friends or pleasing people. This is somebody 
who does what they goes by facts and information rather than feelings. This is somebody who also doesn't tolerate big shows of emotion or, or acts in that kind of way. They're, they hold themselves and others around them to a very high standard, very intelligent mind. Okay. So in the distant past, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy here. This is also connecting with your higher spell, connecting with the divine. This can be the divine at work. This is bringing yourself into balance and deep healing. Very beautiful card here. Race and past is the hangman. So this is not taking any action, no movement. This is kind of staying in one place and kind of hanging out in that tree, kind of trying to get a new perspective or needing to make some type of sacrifice, but overall it's not taking any action in any direction. What is crowning this is the Queen of Swords, more air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is, you know, making the changes necessary to connect with your higher self, your higher being, your path. This is the Queen of Swords is somebody who is very intelligent, well-spoken, can have a conversation with anyone, any place, anywhere, any time. This is a queen who has experienced things, has been hurt, has the wisdom and the knowledge behind her. She also is somebody who does not tolerate any BS. She will take that sword and will cut out anything that is not aligning with her or her highest goals or intentions. Future energy coming in, we have the Three of Wands. And some of you, this is definitely about a spiritual journey because the Three of Wands can indicate waiting for your ships to come in, having waiting for a period of time for something to come to fruition. But this can also speak to taking a journey, a self, a self-discovering journey, a spiritual journey here. How you see yourself, we got justice. Again, Libra energy coming in here. This is about... You know, the balance of, the, of those scales, bringing things in within yourself and around you into balance. Some of you could be wrapping up a legal matter that's going to come out in your favor. But overall, this is really about, you know, karmic justice coming into play here. All right. Outside influences, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So that's that universal abundance and dream come true. This can, for some of you, indicate, you know, the happy life, happy husband, happy wife, the happy children, the dogs, the cats, the house the cars, the flush bank account, the dream job. This can also indicate for others a family ties, family units, things that bind. Also can, I, in, can you know it represent our abundance, our universal abundance here. In your hopes and fears, we have the four of cups. So this is being a place of rejection, boredom, dissatisfaction, not being appreciative of what you have and disinterested of any offer coming in. This is also can be a fear of you know an offer or a thing being rejected here. And possible outcome coming in for you, future energy, is the high priestess. Pisces cancer energy for me. But this is really about you know that divine feminine energy. The divine knowledge and wisdom, wisdom of not of this world. This is really speaking of high spirituality, intuition, secrets, and things not have not been revealed yet. This is definitely a very spiritual reading. And then the overall energy, the devil. Capricorn energy coming in here. But this is speaking of you know, those toxic ties that bind. Um, Self-imposed limitations, addiction, affliction, <clears throat> obsession. Codependency, <clears throat> excuse me, and it can also speak to the toxic patterns and behaviors and patterns in, in behaviors as well as our more carnal urges and followings. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. So this is that spiritual enlightenment, taking that time out, taking that step back to get spiritual enlightenment, to examine our experiences, our wisdom, our knowledge, and how they all work together to come up with a solution to a problem or to really just get some perspective here. And I feel like this, like I said, for some of you, this is a very highly spiritual reading. All right. So let's get a little bit underneath the surface here and see what is going on. Whew. All right, Leo. What is going on in your world? All right. Let's see why the King of Wands, or Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords is at the heart of the matter for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, please. Why is the King of Wands and the King of Swords here? 
Thank you. The world. So this is an ending of hard cycles and a beginning of a new one. Something that's going to be solid and stable. Maybe having an offer come in. Yeah, this is about past sadness, grief, regrets. So I feel like there's a situation here where something is wrapping up. Something that was maybe stable. And you may be, some of you, be having some regrets and sadness over this, this wrap up. Others of you are, are at a place of being ready to move past. Because the bottom of the deck, we're getting the Two of Pentacles. So this is kind of being juggling that energy, this toxic energy here. There you are, Leo. I feel like, you know, there is a sadness that you've been feeling. And you're ready to wrap that up and move forward to solid opportunities, things that are going to be more balanced for you. All right, so distant past, we have temperance. Let's see why temperance is here. Why is temperance here for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the past energies, please. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here in the distant past? Three of wands, the four of wands, and the king of rods. Yeah, Leo, this is definitely you. Meaning, I feel like you're connecting. You're going on. This was you starting your spiritual journey. So our stability, something that was going to growth and expansion for you, definitely coming into deep healing and bringing yourself into balance. There was some type of decision that you had to make between, in, a, in a very, very spiritual connection where there was a lack of balance here. Wow. All right. So why is the hanged man here and the recent past energy? Why is the hanged man here for Leo, sun, moon, rising Venus? Thank you. Yeah, passionate new start, a passionate new beginning was available, but there was a, definitely weren't seeing things clearly. There's a lot of mental fog here, a lot of fear, worry, and a partnership. And that partnership, yeah, I'm seeing that. Things were not balanced. Somebody was giving more to this equation than the other person, which created a lot of conflict internally, maybe externally. But you are good. Like, you had the fear and worry about being alone, but I feel like you were good and solid on your own, Leo. But there was that sense of connection with this person, some spiritual connection that really made you want a new opportunity here. Or them, you. Again, feel free to switch these around as needed. Why is the Queen of Swords here crowning this? Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. The Page of Cups. Yeah, so there is this family tie here. I feel like you put a lot of work into the situation. Some of you, this could be revolving around your actual finances, but they came to an end, a brutal end. And I feel like you are not going to deal with any more bullshit from this person or the situation. You are wanting to have that connection, that family tie. Yeah. And you got your heart kind of really ripped up is what I'm getting. And now there's a chance for reconciliation here. And you're the queen of swords. You're not going to put up with any more bullshit. This person's going to come forward, or if they haven't already, and they're offering you a new cup here, a new chance. I'm sorry. I love you. I, you're the best. I, I can hear it all now. I feel like you're going to, you've gone within or need to go within and get some kind of clarity here because you're really confused when it comes to this commitment. But I do getting the sense that, like, you're not going to tolerate any more bullshit from this person. You're going to cut out, cut that bullshit right out with that sword and bring it to a brute, brutal end if they cannot get with the program is what I'm getting. All right, so let's see why you got the three of wands. Future energy here. Why is the three of wands here for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs? Future energy coming in, please. Why is the three of wands here? Eight of cups, judgment, queen of wands. Look at that. You are going on your, you are in the midst of your spiritual journey. You're walking away from things that are not going to be fulfilling to you. As we've seen that with the queen of swords. Yeah, you're definitely moving away and aligning with what you're aligning with your higher self, aligning with your higher goals. You're going to call, you're calling judgment or going to call judgment, a final judgment call here. And you've got the protection of the angels with you, with you and you can ask for help from them when dealing with this person. You, you may have a lot of passion for them, Leah. Again, this could be you or your person here, but use this is, you know, having a lot of passion. You may even be very much well connected to this queen. 
but this is you calling judgment, final judgment call, yeah, reconciliation or walking away completely is what I'm getting here. You have a lot of love for this person, but you want something that's going to be grounded and solid. You're going to, you want to reign supreme with these two. I'm getting like, this is definitely a spiritual connection. This is a twin flame for some of you. That you want this couple, the solid, the abundant, the down to earth, the grounded, the happy couple who is completely made it and perfect for each other, who gives equally and balanced in this connection, because otherwise it's stressing you the hell out. All right, so let's see. Why is justice here for you, Leo? Why do you see yourself as justice here in this connection? We're getting the, okay, we're getting the five of wands. So there's definitely conflict within you or around you. And you're wanting to bring that into balance. Yeah. You, there's that king of cups. He's emotionally in, in control of his emotions. Seven of pentacles. So you're wanting things to be equal and balanced. You're done with the conflict. You're wanting to, to end that. You're wanting to bring that balance up. You're wanting a new beginning here. You're, you're in control of your emotions completely. I do feel that. You may be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, where you're wanting things, again, you're taking a look, you're examining whether or not there's any potential here. There is a sense of maybe for some of you having to have some patience with this person, but I do feel like they're trying your patience very much and you're trying to stay balanced as well. But you're definitely wanting a new beginning and you're ready to take action against this situation because you're tired of being heartbroken and sad. And, you know, wanting to celebrate and be happy again is what I'm getting. Again, there's a sense, deep sense of spirituality and connection here. All right, let's see this Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? It's outside influences here. For Leo. We're getting the Five of Pentacles, the King of, or the Knight of Pentacles, and the Sun. There you are again, Leo. All right, so I feel for some of you, this could be, you know, some of you could be taking a financial loss. But I'm also getting the sense here that this person is, is feeling left out in the cold. They're wanting to bring something solid and stable into you. They they do have a sense of happiness with you, Leo. But they're, I feel like they're moving very, very slow. They're definitely not happy where they're at. They've been trying to manifest. But I feel like some of this could be a Capricorn, again, that you're dealing with. But there is that toxic tie. There's some type of element, you know, element here that is not healthy. Again, could be dealing with a cancer, but this could also be about wanting to move it forward to a new cycle. There is a lot of, there's connection with your past. This person could be from your past. But they're trying to move forward towards you. They're wanting to. They're wanting to bring an offer, but they're moving extremely slow. And I don't know that you can even see this coming in at this point. All right, so why is the, in the hopes and fears the Four of Cups here, please? For Leah, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Yeah, there's that tower. There's a tower, the hermit, <laughs> and the ten of cups. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting here is you're not been happy. And your worst fear is to continue not being happy is what I'm getting. The energy that I'm getting for this Leo's that I'm reading for is your your worst fear is not continuing to not be happy here. And you're wanting something that is going to bring you happiness. Your ten of cups that is, that look, those cups overflowing in love and happiness and bliss. I feel like going within have gotten spiritual knowledge and wisdom. And I feel like this the tower is really kind of exposing all those things to you. Exposing what is going to bring you to the place where you need to be. And that's like your biggest fear is not being happy and continuing the same pattern as when I'm at what I'm getting for some of you. So I feel like this is a toxic pattern. It's something that keeps repeating over and over again. All right, so why is the high priestess here? Future energy coming in, please. Why is the High Priestess here? Future energy coming in. Why is the High Priestess here? Thank you. The Four of Cups. The Higher Fent. Yep. The Queen of Cups. Okay, so when it comes, again, this is again that spiritual knowledge here. We have the High Priestess and the higher font in the same section here so this is definitely highly spiritual connection you are definitely tuned in tapped into the divine at this point in time you are you're taking a look and examining why you're not happy and what's going to make you happy i feel like you're kind of even getting bored with this cycle again could be dealing with a, a water sign a cancer a pisces scorpio here 
but this is really about following your intuition, what's going to lead you spiritually to where you need to go to make you happy. A renewal of blessing and love coming for you after a period of inaction. It's going to be grounded. It's going to be stable. There's not going to be that, that sense of needing to juggle. It's just something that can be grown upon and created. And, you know, again, a brand new beginning. I'm away from deception where you don't have to be wounded and stand back. Or let's take a examine of this devil energy. Why is it here as the overall energy? Why is the devil here as Leo's overall energy, please? The Emperor, the Lovers, yeah, and Justice. That is all major arcana. The King of Swords, making head over heart decisions. The Emperor is all about being bold, being assertive, taking back control of your life, being in control of your time, your money, your abundance, your heart, your life, your love, being in complete control. The emperor knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. And if he can't physically get it, he can build it. The emperor is very much a leader, the supreme leader and the divine masculine energy here. And this is, you know, again, again this is a, making a decision in love that's going to bring balance to you. Things are definitely not balanced here. And this is making a head over heart decision, cutting out bullshit, cutting through the crap and really be looking at things logically. Because this has been stressing you the hell out, Leo. This is you. Again, this is your energy. I feel like being in control of your thoughts, your emotions, your environment, internally, externally, and being brave and courageous. There's been so much confusion and deception around the situation. Again, then be dealing with a cancer because we got the card of Scorpio. But you're wanting to move forward and work on something. Put in work partnership. That is going to like lead you away from internal conflict and bring you some peace. That's what I'm getting. Peace more than anything. All right. Why is the hermit here as the background energy? Why is the hermit here as the background energy for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. This is you connecting spiritually with yourself and moving away from the turbulence, the trouble, the things that are not aligning you with your higher self. This is you really seeking out answers, exploring the possibilities, maybe doing some traveling, getting away from the situation. There's the Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck, cutting out the bullshit, Leo. All right, very nice reading. Let's get you a spiritual guidance card here, a goddess guidance card to close out this reading. And I do apologize for the background noise. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. All right. We are getting Abundia, Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Asking for help is a sign of strength, not weakness. You are very powerful, and I'm here to support your growing power. It's right for you to receive this help as we function as a team. I've heard your prayers, worries, and affirmations. I'm pouring my cornucopia of prosperity upon you now. So expect unforeseen windfalls and gifts. Notice the new ideas, feelings, and visions within you. This guidance gives you clear direction about actions to take in connection with my assistance. Together, we're unstoppable. Various meanings of this card. Be open to receiving. A new windfall of money is coming to you. You have nothing to worry about. Your new venture will be financially successful. Visualize a firm abundance. Abundance comes to you in many ways, including extra time, support, and ideas. So you're definitely getting blessings from the universe, protection, and all you have to do is ask for help if you're stumbling. All right, that is it. Leo, that is all I have for you. Please let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. If you have not yet done so, please do hit the like button to get this circulating for everyone else. And subscribe so you get these messages as they are released. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.